Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm just out in Burr Heath, just off the A217, the old London to Brighton Road. And I'm on a little country lane, although we are in suburbia, we're on a little country lane just outside um, Banstead Woods. So we're gonna have a little walk around this road and see what's here. The last time I walked anywhere along here was about, I don't know, seven years ago, so we'll go and see what's uh, what's occurring okay let's go through this little footpath past the i imagine it's a farm great these lovely old buildings all made of flint i think this is a working farm though you might be able to hear the constant hum of the A217 at Burr Heath. So we're just outside Sutton. Um, spring is in the air, it's quite a warm up. I don't really know, I've got a jacket on. Don't think I need it really. But yeah, I've always known of this little trackway. And I um, thought I'd just have another little revisit, get a bit of fresh air and uh, take you along with me. There we go. Nice little old ruin of a farmhouse. Or well, maybe it's not used as a farm anymore. Lots of uh, keep out signs of old derelict outbuildings. I would think it hasn't probably been used as a farm for quite a while by the looks of it. Really weird saying a farm when you're just outside Sutton, the suburbia of Sutton. Um, yeah. Hmm. I'm having lunch at the Kingswood Arms, which haven't been there for about, oh God, must be 15, 16 years. I think I was, first went there in the 80s. Very nice pub, I'm sure it's drastically changed. And um, that'll be nice. Yeah, so we're coming up to a little lane here. Yeah, which I last walked probably 2015, 16, something like that. And you go past some derelict uh, buildings, if it's still there. The problem is we don't get much derelict buildings in the southeast because everything's got, the thing I've said before, everything gets boarded up and coop out and secure CCTV, all that. Which is fair enough, I'm not saying that's not a bad thing, you know, you don't want vandals going in and just wrecking the joint. Although it's always a, already a ruin, but it's people's property. Um, yeah. Oh, it's warm already. Yeah, I think it's down here on this uh, little bit of a muddy trackway. Um, sun is trying to pop through the clouds. Another reason for this video is really just sort of see what's on your own doorstep, which, you know, I do local videos as well. But um, literally a, mile, a couple of miles outside the sprawl of a town, you can find these little gems in the countryside. You know, I mean, look at this, all this open space around Banstead. Banstead woods are up there which we've done videos from before, of course. And, um, yeah, all on your doorstep. Oh, balls, mad mud alert. Um, I'm just gonna see if I can get through. Oh, no, nope. slipping up all over the place. Yeah, if I can just get through this little bit, we'll be good. Oh, God, it is slippery, look at that. <laughs> Made it through the mud.
This is the old derelict building I remember from before. All fenced off. So it's a little bit windy here today, so I hope you can hear me all right. Actually, I've had stronger wind and it's been okay on other videos. But yeah, with the corrugated roofing. Oh yeah, I remember it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, public footpath to Kingswood, a third of a mile. We might have a little walk along there in a minute, actually. And down here, down this lane, goes all the way up to, back up to Banstead Woods. Um, up a little hill and then to Banstead Woods, which is a great walk for any time of year. through here and um, see where this leads because I remember seeing this before and I thought oh, I wonder where it leads to so, sorry, this leads down to King down to uh, Kingswood where we're having lunch but I'm parked up that way yeah spectacular views Lovely bird song this morning, some lovely bird song. Okay, yeah, there's a little road of houses that goes back up to the 217. And here's a finger post. Public footpath. Um, yeah, public bridleway. A lot of horses around here. Um, obviously, we're not far from Epsom Downs. So, um, yeah. We'll have a little wander down here. So, Bancy Woods is over there, so this must be around the back. Um, and trying to avoid the mud. Legal in general building. 24 hour CCTV is in operation. Which is fair enough. Oh, bit of a wind. That must be the legal and general building over there. Uh -huh. Lots of uh, water. Um, I don't think we need to go down there too much. So I haven't got the correct... You're probably thinking, Mark, you're out walking, but you haven't got the correct footwear on. Which is... The reason for that was I didn't know I was going to go off, off path, off track. My boots are in the back of the car, but I didn't think it was going to be muddy. I thought it was all going to be um, uh, a tarmac road, which it is along there. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, there you go. Lovely, isn't it? The sun's almost peeking out in a minute. God, I'm getting warm. When I'm videoing, I, I'm, um, people have said, I'm actually quite a fast walker, but when I'm videoing, I slow it down a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm usually probably about four miles an hour, I think. Not intentionally, I just, I'm just a fast walker. Okay, just going down to that gate and then Heading back up to the car. Not going up to Banstead Woods. Um, not today. I must do Banstead Woods at some point again because of the uh, the Narnia trail for the kids, which is really interesting. All these sculptures of Narnia characters out of Narnia. Oh, this is going to be fun. Uh, Did it. Quick look at that finger post here. I'd like a good finger post. Um, where's it going to? Where's it going to? Yeah, Burheath that way. Uh, 
Kingswood Lane. Is it Kingswood Lane? A quarter of a mile off. You know, so there's a nice walking trail down there as well. Which we'll have to do sometime. I'm not going to do it today. Um, I should have parked at Kingswood and walked back and did it all around here and then walked straight back to the pub. But I didn't. So let's have a walk back uh, along the road. No more mud, hopefully. Uh, on the way back to the car. People have often joked with me in the past about shorts. I mean, as soon as it hits 16, 17 degrees, which it nearly is, in shorts for the rest of the year until about October, November, depending. The October, November can be quite mild anyway. But yeah, I don't actually like jeans or trousers. Odd comment, I know. I, I like my legs to be free. So uh, yeah, we'll go back into shorts very, very, very soon. Might even be by the end of this week, actually. Here we are. There's a ruin over there, the old building. And that's where we've just been. Going down to Kingswood in the field. And now we're going to walk back on the road, back down to the car. When you walk down lanes, I always wonder how long they've been here. This looks maybe quite newish. I'm not, don't know, when I say newish, I mean last couple of hundred years. Was it an ancient trackway that's been superseded? Who knows? I think you look on those, some of those old uh, maps, comparison maps of today and 100 and 150 years ago and you can see if things are still there it's really interesting actually another public footpath goes down quick walk down here actually yeah that building the uh, insurance building I don't quite know if it's occupied or it's um, not used anymore. Don't see much activity. But we'll go down here, might get a little bit of a closer look. Lots of planes, because we are on the Gatwick flight path, or Gatwick Airport's not very far away. Oh, we go down this little little place. Okay. Okay. Public footpath. It comes out at the back of these buildings. So I think there's bollards up, so I don't think this building is actually used. I'm just going looking back. Really nice view. So yeah. Yeah, it's private property. Legal and general building, yeah, not occupied. So if it's private property, we're not going in. Wow. Didn't even know that was there. I did not know that was there. So I don't know what they're gonna do with it. Are they gonna redevelop it? I don't know. If it's private property then, you don't go in. Um, Although urban explorers like to uh, break that rule, which I don't think is right. Although I'm interested in urban exploring, I've never done it. Um, but I like watching other people's videos. But yeah, if somewhere's um, private uh, or keep out, you keep out. Just the way it is. Okay. Heading back to the car. Ooh. Nice place to live. Um, I'll just come through here. Back out to the tarmac road. Oh, this is lovely. I think it's a farm. And uh, back to the car and onwards to Kingswood. Let's go.
I've declothed a bit because it's really warm. And the sun's come out, it's blue sky. Wish we'd had that over at Burr Heath, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm gonna walk up here to see the horses then, lunch. That was a lovely lunch in the uh, Kingswood Arms, steak and owl pie, wonderful. I've stripped off even more now, look. Sorry ladies, calm yourselves. I know, if this gets any warmer today, then who knows what will happen. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's getting really warm. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. That's actually more pleasant than I thought it was gonna be. At the time of this recording, um, which I think the 13th of, October of March, I only saw this route yesterday. So it's been a really pleasant surprise. Um, and the weather's beautiful now. There's horses in the field over there. What's more to like? So please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff, and we'll see you next time. Take care.